Let's start with Dehancer Pro and Final Cut. So first let's change the aspect ratio to make it more vintage looking, like a 3 to 2 style. So then we drop in the newest version of Dehancer Pro and as you can see everything is enabled so we have to switch off some buttons to start with a clean sheet. Here we got the heart of Dehancer which is all the different stock simulations, I love it. Check it out, famous Portra 400 and other amazing film emulations, simulations. So, but for this one, I go with my favorite one, which is the Sinistel 50D. Some stuff we leave out for this video. Here we come to the film crane, the preset film crane here for the 35mm for example, for ISO 250 or 50 is a little bit too strong for me so I set it manually. Here we go to the custom button and as you can see I make the amount on 15 and have less crane in the shadows than a little bit more in the midtones and more in the highlights. There we go. Halation we don't need for that one and I will show it in the next clip. But of course we need some plume. In this case the preset is a little bit too less for me and I make it also with the custom button. Eighty on eighty. Here you see it before and after. To go on with the colors I jump to the final cut color wheel. We are checking the video scope. I don't want it too bright. But a little bit more for sure. Push down uh, the mid-tones to give it a more moody look and also the shadows a little bit. So there we go, let's check the colors. The shadow part I will bring in the greenish area, bluish greenish area and the light part to the orange area to give it a little nice evening or early morning light a little golden look bring up a little bit all the intensities and there we go and here we got the light vintage look with a really beautiful texture and this is possible because the film simulation and the crane of Dehancer Pro is just gorgeous. Let's take this example. How easy it is to get a nice analog film look. Like this one. It's a little bit stronger than the one before, but really aesthetic. The Dehancer Pro plugin is already dropped in. This time we go with Kodak Gold 200, a classic. Film crane set this time on the preset simulation of 35mm. Here you can see the stronger ones. But we go for the 51. Halation we make on. Here in this clip you still don't see it so strong as you need a lot stronger backlight. Here you got the backlight, but it's diffused from the clouds. I will have a video only on the halation very soon. The bloom, which makes it a little bit softer even, and gives it a nice bloomy texture around the light rims. So here we go to the color wheel in Final Cut and I prepared already a color wheel and you see with easy settings I just pushed up the global intensity. I bring the shadows in the reddish area which is typical for the 60s analog look and the lights in the bluish area and the midtones down and there we go. Dehancer. Mm, nice. If you want to get Dehancer Pro, then feel free and use this 10% promo code. In the description below you can find the link. Thanks and I hope you liked the video. See you soon.